Hey everyone, James back here, and if you don't know, I went to Worlds. Uh, there was an update video like a while ago, and you're probably surprised because I'm using a webcam and I haven't recorded my face since the first video like ever, and that was like January of 2013, so quite a bit surprising. I got some very awesome stuff for you guys. Since I went to Worlds, you guys know, um... I played in the LCQ, which is the last chance qualifier, which means the top four players of each division through that competition uh, make it into the world championship. They get an invite. So I was one of the lucky ones. Well, I wouldn't call me lucky because I got hacks throughout the tournament and I still made it through. So yeah, I made it through the LCQ. Huge accomplishment. I got it myself a world's invite and it was pretty cool because uh, the attendance for seniors there were 76 seniors I believe and it was the size of a regionals which I have never won so I'm very happy about that anyway for competing the world championship you get one of these swag bags you get one of these bags and they're full of exclusive Pokemon world Pokemon World Championship merchandise and yeah you can only get those by entering the tournament not the LCQ you have to get into Worlds or if you really really want these you can buy them but they were very exclusive very limited and the line was like three hours long like the line was almost out of the building if I remember correctly so yeah definitely cool Anyway, let's get started on opening this swag bag. I actually did have to open one thing. I was going to open everything on camera, but I had to open one thing because the first thing I had to open was this. It's my Pokemon World Championship invite. Uh, they unfortunately couldn't engrave my name. They just put tape on it. I'll put it up to the camera. Hopefully you guys can see it because I don't, I can't because my view is so small. And this awesome Pokemon tag thing. And they also have the schedule on the back, which is pretty cool. And I need this badge to get into Worlds. So yeah, definitely a keeper. They gave me this Pokemon World Championship 2014 notebook. You could actually buy these at the event. This was like the one thing that didn't go out of stock. There were a bunch. And they were like $21 each, so that's free. You know, who doesn't like free stuff? I definitely do. And it was just awesome. It's 200 pages. Hardcover. And really awesome. Next we have this World Pikachu Plush. Yes. I wish I had music, but yeah. But this is awesome world Pikachu plush. I mean, look at it. It has a cape. It has a cape and a belt. It's awesome. I'm not going to open it because I do not want it to get dusty. Uh, next, we have the Play Pokemon TCG mat for the World Championship. One of the staples. I'm not even sure if I can fit the whole thing on screen. Hopefully I can. Yeah, that is awesome. You got the World Pikachu logo and what you saw on the stream, this is pretty much the background of it. Really cool. We got this Pokemon TCG deck box. Very nice. They actually sold these out on the first day, I believe. Which is very, very nice. Very happy for Pokemon for selling a bunch of these. And there's actually something inside, but I checked. They're just like card separators. Speaking of cards, I actually did buy a box of um, Pokemon uh, Fury's Fist box. I ordered it the day it came out. And I'm waiting for those in the mail. They're actually coming today, but they're running late. It's like 4 p.m. right here. And I know they're coming today because I checked the, uh, the delivery schedule. 
So very nice. What else? You've got this. It's kind of bent. Wouldn't be surprised. Oh, that's what we have. We have this. This car <laughs> doesn't look cool, but uh, you get online bonuses. I'm not gonna be showing the code because I'm gonna see what it does actually. And you get some World Championship Online promo items. TCG, I think. I don't play TCG, I'm, but why not? Oh, and for competing in the Pokemon World Championship, you get this cool card. It's a limited edition card. Champions Festival. Hope you guys can see it. And its effect, once each player's turn of that Pokemon has six Pokemon in play, he or she may heal 10 damage from each of his or her Pokemon. That's a pretty cool card. If it's tournament legal, yeah, that'd be cool. Let's see, we got this little cloth. Oh, and on the back we have the table chart for Pokemon typings. Eh, I already know my typings pretty much. Oh, and we got the hat. Yeah, the hat. The hat. With the Pokemon World Championship logo. It's a bit small on me, but... Huh. I don't know. It's quite small on me. No, I'm still gonna wear it. It's pretty cool. Maybe you can open the... Oh yeah, you can stretch it out. Nice. And... Ooh, a mini pouch. This is the last item in the bag, actually. With where I can just like hold something. Maybe the deck box or something. That's pretty much it for the for the bag. And for competing, I also got this Pokemon World Championship um, com competitor T-shirt. I didn't even know what this thing was called for a second. And yeah. I think these were for sale actually. I'm not sure. There were different versions I think for sale. And on the back. They have all the countries that were competing. Except I think Canada. No Canada's on here. Never mind. So yeah that is awesome. Anyway, for more information about the Pokemon World Championships and how I did, there will be separate videos for this. This was just for the swag bag. Oh man, that was such a cool swag bag. Anyway, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Be sure to share with your friends. If you guys want to see my Worlds team, it will be on a different video. And it will be posted on NuggetBridge.com. If you don't know what NuggetBridge is, it's a competitive VGC website. And yeah, I'll definitely post the team there my battles will also be on there so definitely check me out and i'll see you guys next time